Hello there, my name is Michael Maynard and welcome back to Gorilla Picking. Now, we have got a really interesting one on the bench today guys. We have got a very pretty little safe here that I bought uh, about a week ago from a guy up in Auckland. Bought it on Trade Me, which is the New Zealand equivalent of uh, you know Craigslist or Gumtree or one of those ones. And um, when I picked it up from the guy, um, he said it was working fine. It was open, so the um, the door was open, and the bolts over here on the side were shot, so it was it was locked in the open position, which is the sensible thing to do. And uh, I didn't test the safe when I bought it. I just took him uh, took it off him in good faith, and he gave me a uh, a little set of instructions here. I love the word twirl. Um, so to open this thing we need to twirl it to 33, then 27, and then 55. Now, interestingly enough folks, when you do that, this safe does not open. And um, this is where it gets kind of interesting. Now, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to see if I can dial this combination and um, show you what's going on inside the lock as well. So I have got a second camera here and I'm not a hundred percent sure if this is going to work so um, what we're going to do is start recording here and spin this thing around several times to the left and uh, then we're going to stop on 33 just there now we are going to spin round to 27 so 27 once 27 twice 27 a third time then we're going back to 55 so 55 once 55 twice and then at this point we should be able to go around for the drop but uh, as you can see that nose very definitely does not drop in and the gates just uh, up here um, there we go, finally I'm, I'm having to look backwards on this thing, um, are completely misaligned. So this is quite obviously either one of two things. Either um, this guy got the combination hopelessly, hopelessly wrong, and I, and I honestly don't think he did. He was a very nice and very, very well-spoken, very smart chap. Or we have got a lock that is faulting. Now I just want to bring you down here and show you something, folks. Um, I think what we've got here is a bit of a fault with the way that the cam, this bit here, is held on to the shaft, that bit there. So we've got the spline key here. Now, um, if I just move this from side to side a little, can you see that there is some play in there? So maybe if I hold the cam rigidly, uh, you can see that what I'm doing there is dialing the uh, the knob backwards and forwards and um, we have got a fair amount of movement here on on that little spline key now I think that that is probably the the issue that the lock has got so what I'm going to do here I am going to um, remove that spline key and I'm going to use a trick that um, Brian one of the guys who watches my videos over in Australia taught me a week or two ago um, which is to get into that spline key with a center punch um, knock a couple of divots on that so that it spreads it out a little bit that should hopefully then tighten it up when it goes back into the lock so what I'm going to do is remove that now and um, knock the thing a couple of times put it in and see what happens so back in a second guys Okay, so um, we are ready to get the spline key out of there. Now, you can see that there is a reasonable bit of movement there, so I, I do think we're on the right track for at least one of this lock's problems. Now, um, the, the lock is orientated in the right-hand position, and the spline key is actually in the right place here, but what I'm going to do is just um, put, a, put a mark on there anyway. So you can see I've already done it, but I'll, I'll just do it again so that you guys know that we've got a, uh, a witness mark here so we get the thing back in the right place just in case something moves while we're dealing with it. Now here 
uh, the pliers and yeah that that pops out really quite easily eh? so um, you know definitely this is part of the problem now I'll just get the lock uh, or at least the door itself out of the road and then okay so we've given that a little bit of a clean there was um, a little bit of gunge and rubbish on that um, now let's give it a couple of good whacks with the center punch just to try and open things out a little bit and maybe one on the other side as well okay well that has that's actually put more of a bend on there than I was expecting it to that brass is, is obviously pretty soft I might have actually done too much work on that so I am just going to straighten that a little with the pliers before we put that back in okay now let's see how we go okay so let's now just gently tap that back in we're definitely going to use a bit of force here Okay, absolutely positively no play on that whatsoever. So now let's see how well that dials. Let's see what we got. Okay, folks, well, the moment of truth. Let's see if the, uh, the repair sorted out and whether or not we diagnosed the issue correctly. So um, the number was 33, 27. 55 right out what happens yeah look at that okay all right so uh, I'm pretty happy with that folks we correctly diagnosed and correctly repaired an issue with this lock um, now before I put this into service so I'm actually going to use this safe okay I, I think it's a great little safe um, before I actually use this, I will be changing the combination on this thing um, just to make sure that I've got it absolutely bang on. Um, it is a, I don't know if you can see that there, it's a Lagarde lock, it's a Lagarde 3330, which um, is by far the most common of the non Sergeant and Greenleaf group 2 locks so it's a it's a very common safe lock um, and I do have a change key for that so um, I am going to reset the combination I might even make a separate video showing me doing that for you guys um, and uh, put this into service so there you have it folks thanks for watching I really appreciate you being with me for this one my name is Michael Maynard this is Gorilla Picking and um, that is a lovely little uh, fiche safe have a good one guys